Hey, greetings guys. You might wonder what we're doing here. We are entering the big town of Walker, which is the home of Walker Lake. And I'm not sure what is down at the bottom of this hill, but as you see, we will be turning here in another uh, a mile, so I wanted to turn the camera on a little early, give you a, give you a little glimpse of this small town. I think this lake is slowly disappearing here, I read about on the internet. There is not much commerce that's still open here. So we're going to go down towards what the sign says is a lodge with rooms and dining and that that thing may have been closed for 30 years for all I know or it might be open today serving lunch so we are going to go down there I'll show you the sign here in a minute the town is about all of two miles long so it shouldn't take too long this sign here coming up on the right in the circle, see if I can zoom in, is called the Cliff House. And unfortunately, I thought the turnoff was right here. So we're gonna, well, maybe it is. Shores Drive, okay, I had a feeling. not sure if this is it or not. We're going to take a peek, go down here toward the lake, and hope we get lucky. Anyways, from what I was told by some old timers, this was all... Yeah, I can't get to that darn place from here, I don't think. We're going to have to go back, which we will do because I've been wanting to stop here for a long time. Anyways, this was all part of the lake where I'm driving right now. And uh, the lake has receded and they build homes down there. So <laughs> if the lake ever comes back, those people are in trouble. They're going to have a oceanfront view, basically. Anyways, okay, we're going to go back up one street. See if we can't find this cliff house here. Very faint sign. Lakefront Lodging. And there's a, a mobile, or pardon me, a, a trailer there. Maybe that's a security guy. All right. Here's a little better picture of the sign here. Lakeside Resort. So let's see what kind of a resort it really is. I'm getting a bad feeling here for the simple fact that this lodge or this <laughs> this place, I think it's abandoned. The roof is, uh, as you can see, the roof is in disrepair. But I do see a, I do see a car there. It looks like a Prius. So. Maybe they're working on it. Oh, Lakeside Apartments. There's a couple cars there. All right, we probably won't bother them. But let's go further down the hill here. Once again, it's amazing to me that all this stuff has been built in what used to be a, uh, a lake bed. All right, I see the cliff house. Much smaller than anticipated. And... Uh, don't know if it's in business or not either. We might uh, we might get out there and take a walk around. There's some abandoned cabins here we're going to take a look at. Oh yeah, motel closed for remodeling. We're going to show you what we can, guys. But we are real close to the water. I have not been this close. See the sign there? 
boy it's interesting there's a couple boats <laughs> that's a couple boats laying out there one of them is uh one of them is upside down on the right and the other one's right side up keep out private docking all right so there is some power on that building and it does say office entrance it's got a truck there I don't know if there's much to see, guys. That sign leaning up against the building, I think, used to be somewhere else. I, I couldn't swear. Looks like it's leaning. All right, we're going to go up to these little cabins or little cottages up here. Let's see if we can't tell how long how long it's been since those have really been uh, inhabited, so to speak. Boy, those are really small, really small. This must have been uh, summer, summer retreats for somebody. Let's take a peek. Guys, apologize for the shakiness of the camera here. Let me get out of my car here. And we will see what there is to see. One, two, three. Looks like there's eight of them. And the color matches the cliff house down below. This sets of Sets of blue. Looks like they all had their own little carport. Here's one with the door open. People were, uh, I guess, living here. There's a dish TV deal there. They don't actually look that bad carpet in here. Unfortunately there's some rat droppings there. We don't necessarily go into bathrooms. Boy this was small. This is smaller than your average 320 foot little motel you rent. It overlooks the lake though it is beautiful. There's another house down here. It looks really big. Now whether that is a whether that is a commercial building or or not, I don't know. Anyways, these uh, must have been some kind of little summer cottages. Got air conditioning that was uh, added in what looks like afterwards and interesting because they all had a carport but as you can see the foundation either was cut out I don't think there was ever any additional rooms here but uh, yeah same thing same carpet same little places so guys this was always uh, always an interest to me what was here now this one here number eight on the end this is larger this could have been the caretakers, it could have been the office, who knows, could have been a store for all we know. Yeah, definitely much bigger. Old number eight had a nice, uh, I guess it was patio room of some kind here. The roof is uh, 
about gone so anyways guys Walker Lake this is uh, just outside of Hawthorne on the uh, 95A we saw it we wanted to bring to you what was uh, once most likely somebody's dream so for now guys Nevada Arcade